What's up, Jace Fitness fans? It's your boy Jay Dizzle, man, here at the gym. Uh, Anytime Fitness in Amherst, Ohio. We are in week seven, baby. Um, today is Wednesday, uh, December 12th. Uh, I haven't been able to film much. I'm still working my overtime from this week. I'm going to try to get a couple clips for you, man, but I'm actually just trying to get in, get out. I'm super tired. Um, today's weigh-in Wednesday for the challenge. Um, so, man, we got a whole week left, man. Like, I'm feeling really, really good. I had an awesome run yesterday. Um, and so, not going to make this clip too long, man. I'm about to get up in here. I'm going to hit an upper body workout um, because right now my, my days have been thrown off. So, like, I've been missing, like, total days, like chest and back and all that. So, I'm just going to kind of group everything together do a bunch of supersets and uh just uh bring it in uh high and tight baby all right let's go What's up, guys, man? I hope you enjoyed that little workout. Um, yeah, so 
right now we are in week seven, man. I have I literally haven't picked up my camera since uh, that workout, but it was really really awesome. Um, I wasn't able to get the skull crushers, but it, you know it, it's nothing that you haven't seen before. I was kind of rushed uh, throughout that workout. Um, as I always say, as soon as I start setting up the camera, then a million people come into the gym. That's just the way it is, guys. I have to just accept that and get over it. Um, but so we're, we're coming up on the last week of the challenge. Um, I weighed in the other day at 197. So I'm on track with, uh, my goals. Hopefully I can reach my goal, uh, by the end of this challenge, which is the 23rd, wherein I have to upload my final pictures and do my video and things like that uh, for first form. Um, trying to get trying to get some ideas together to uh, to do my my end of the challenge video because <laughs> they kind of want like you know a production, you know what I mean. So I'm trying to think of something that I can do uh, to kind of get noticed, you know, to hopefully win the challenge or even, you know, because they want to fly people out to the first form headquarters and things like that. And, you know, even if I don't win the challenge, you know, you can still, it's like the challenge is, it goes on throughout the year. So, you know, you just keep making improvements and, you know, they, they, they pick people to win like $2,000, um, and like supplements and things like that. So, you know, I'm just hoping to continue. And for me guys, a challenge like this, these transformation challenges, it, it's, it's something that I need to do to, uh, to keep me motivated and to keep me on track with, uh, my goals. Because if I don't set a goal and have something to work towards, then I tend to slack off. Like guys, I, after my show last September, I just slacked off, you know, and I gained a lot of my weight back and it was very, uh, embarrassing to me. Uh, you know, taking those pictures during this first form challenge and, and, uh, see how far I let myself go. So, um, I don't want that to happen again, uh, ever. <laughs> um, so, so we have one more week and hopefully I can go to Cheesecake Factory on the 23rd and get my cheat meal that I had after my show, my Louisiana chicken pasta. <laughs> Cause that was, that, that was been my motivation throughout this challenge, man. It's been going very well. Um, so uh, somebody asked me, am I still doing the master cleanse? And the answer is yes. I'm going to do that to the end of the challenge. And guys, for me, right now, I have so much less inflammation in my knees and my joints and my lower back. Guys, I've been killing my five-mile runs lately, man. Just feeling really, really good. I actually just... Uh, uh, yesterday, actually, I just, I clocked in at, uh, my five miles at 57 minutes and 39 seconds. Awesome. Awesome. That's another goal of mine is to get my five miles back under, uh, an hour consistently. I think I was even doing like 48 minutes, uh, a year ago or like, yeah, like, like last year, two years ago, like, man. So setting challenges for myself and, and setting goals for the new year. You know, I'm the type of person, I don't mind resolutions. You know, it doesn't affect me, but a lot of people shit on people who make new year's resolutions. But I just feel, I'm like a lot of people. I just feel like it's the start of, it's, it's restarting the clock. January 1st, day one of a new year, you know, 365 days to get your shit together. You know what I mean? And yes, you can start today. I, I get that. I understand it. But I just like starting that clock over at midnight on January 1st and, you know, going all the way until the end of the year. So I don't want to make this clip too long, but one thing I did want to touch on is um, a video I was just watching by a, a guy I like, I like uh, named uh, Red Pill Married 2. Um, he was just talking about this, and it's something that's been on my mind lately because I feel like we, we tend to shit on people who aren't making a million dollars a minute. You understand what I'm saying? Like, guys, after my divorce, I went into a severe depression. Um, I, I worked in the corporate world. Okay, let me back up. I have a degree in accounting, okay? I worked in the accounting field for 15 years. Absolutely just pretty much hated it. 
it was something that was comfortable. It was something that was, you know, I did because other people kind of talked me out of my dream. We are just, people in general, we are just dream killers, okay? And it's sad that, you know, you tell somebody something and, and we automatically just go to the negative thing, okay? When I was young, I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to do artwork. I wanted to uh, be an astronaut. <laughs> And people would just always tell you the, the negative thing, like for singing or, or artwork. It's like, oh, those are competitive things and you have to be exceptional, exceptional in order to make it and this, that, and the third. So, you know, people will talk me out of it. Now, it was ultimately me who gave up on those dreams. I understand that. I get that. But yet people will people will talk you out of your dream, you know, if you, if you let them. And so there was a video that I commented on because there was a kid who wanted to be a firefighter. And he was talking about getting married and he's like 19 and the guy was talking about of getting married so young. And I did agree with that because it's like he hasn't even lived his life yet. You know, he's worried about getting married and, and things. And the guy was like, you know, don't get married yet. Live your life, travel, make money, invest, do these things. And then, you know, later on down the line, if that's something that you still want to do, because there's so many women in the world, you know, you know, be with different women and see exactly what you like, you know, and. And if that's something, if marriage is something that you want to do later on in life, then, you know, by all means do that. But have your shit together first, you know. So I agreed with him on that. But then the kid was talking about he wanted to be a firefighter, this, that, and third. And the guy just, like, went ham on him because this guy's a radio host and he has a seven-figure salary. And that's one of the things that I, I don't like about the guy. I do like him. I like his content and things like that. But then he would just shit on people who aren't millionaires and, and making millions of dollars. Like, guys, I make a significant amount of money, and I live alone. Um, I have my daughter who lives with me, but she's very low maintenance, you know, and I take care of her. Um, but other than that, like, guys, I make money to pay my bills, have a little extra on the side to have some entertainment, you know, with my daughter on the weekends. You know, we go to the movies, we go skating, we go bowling, we do things, you know. Um, about to go uh, rock climbing here. Uh, they just built a rock climbing facility uh, in one of the next cities close close to our house here. And, uh, you know, and it's like, guys, and the thing with the guy that just made this video, I was talking about um, Red Pill Married, he, it was called, men, you are, you are the prize. You are a success. Whether you're working a blue collar job or whatever, you know, you got to start thinking of it like this. If you're paying your bills and you're keeping your nose clean, guys, like you're a success, you know. But see, society wants to tell you that you're you're less than because you're not you're not making a million dollars a day. You know, it's like, guys, I, I'm so beyond that right now. Guys, I work alone. <laughs> I come and go as I please. Um I, my bills is paid, you know, um, I'm also on a debt free journey right now. So my goal for next year is to have my entire debt paid off at December 31st, 2019. And I'm going to, and I'm going to make that happen. You know, I don't see that even changing, but there's, there's another video that, you know, guys are shitting on men's physique and crossfit and this that and third and, I, and, and my whole thing right now is just like guys why do we do that if it's something that you're not into like don't shit on somebody else because that's what they're into okay just like me like I, guys i clean buildings at night i deliver newspapers in the morning okay i'm comfortable with that i'm cool with that if that's not what you choose to do you have a white collar job and you're making you know 100 grand a year or 200 grand a year then you do that that's, you know, I actually deleted the video I made before this because I just went all in. Like, I was cussing and everything. And I just said, you know what? That's not me. That's not the person I want to portray on, you know, YouTube and things like that. I'm a, I'm a happy-go-lucky person. I'm an easy guy. And, um, but guys, I love all aspects of training, okay? I love all aspects of competing. I love all aspects of, you know, um, people improving themselves. Think about it like this. Um, back in the day, there was bodybuilding. There was men's bodybuilding and women's bodybuilding. And a lot of women didn't want to be necessarily as big as, you know, a, a Linda Murray, for example, who was Miss Olympia. And 
they wanted to streamline that. They wanted they wanted to make something for everybody to compete in, a division for everybody to compete in that appealed to them. So they created uh, women's bikini, women's figure, women's, uh, I believe it's fitness, where, where they do like the acrobatics and, and things like that. And then they have physique now. Um, I believe they got rid of women's bodybuilding. It's now physique, which is like your Dana Lynn Bailey's and things who are still kind of, you know, they have that muscle definition and density and tone, but they're not as big as a female bodybuilder per se. So there's a different division for everybody to compete in. And I like that, you know, because everybody has different goals. Men's physique, they shit on the guys who do men's physique because, oh, they don't they don't train legs and this, that, and that. And it's like, guys, a guy like Jeremy Buendia, who is four-time physique Olympia champ, has awesome legs. Uh, the current champ, uh, Brendan Hendrickson, awesome legs, awesome leg development, big legs, awesome legs. Guys, Olympia caliber men's physique competitors are training legs, okay? I train legs. You guys have seen my leg videos, but I'm interested in men's physique. I'm not interested in being a 290-pound bodybuilder anymore. I haven't had that goal for a long time. Uh, Brian, Ronnie Coleman is still my favorite bodybuilder of all time. Shout out to Big Ron. Hope he's recovering well from his back surgery. But... um. And that, was, and that was a comment that I made on one of the videos. I said, everybody don't want to be a 290-pound bodybuilder, okay? So why would you shit on people who have different goals? You know, they created the physique uh, division for guys who want that, that beach body, you know, physique. They got the classic uh, guys now who still want to do the bodybuilding thing but want that aesthetic, you know, more, I guess, pleasing is what they say aesthetic physique. Then they have the 212 guys who are shorter in stature and can't necessarily get to the 290 pound, you know, bodybuilder range, you know, like the Phil Heats and the, and the, um, you know, Ronnie Coleman's. Okay. And then you have like your CrossFit. Think about it like this. The people who are handicapped or disabled, they're, they created the Special Olympics for them to compete and to display their talents, you know, and because they didn't have an outlet to do that with normal, with the regular Olympics. You understand what I'm saying? So are we going to shit on the Special Olympics? I, I think not. You know, it's a way for people to compete um, in something that is not necessarily um, pleasing to the eye, I guess you could say. Um, you know, so I just get so so pissed off when I see posts like that, you know, when people just shit on things that they don't understand or, or that they're not into. Um, you know, that's just not me and I just and I just wanted to come on here and say, you know, guys, just do you, boo boo, <laughs> as Nene Leaks would say. Do you boo boo. You know, do your thing, you know. I love watching like American Ninja Warrior. I love I just I get I get into it because I'm just like I I see guys that are doing amazing things that I wish I could do. You know, I look at them like, you know, like when I see like LeBron Duncan and, and Steph Curry getting 50 points in a game and shooting, I mean, the dude shooting half court shots and, and making it, you know what I mean? I can never do that, you know? So I look at, I don't sit there and be like, oh, this guy's on steroids because he, he, he shot, he, I mean, the guy's averaging 50 points a game and, and it's like, no. <laughs> I don't look at it like that, you know, and I just get so pissed off when people just judge other people, you know, so, you know, I know it's never going to change. I can hear the keyboard warriors right now about to attack me because I don't understand this, that, or the third, but I'm just giving my opinion and I have a right to do that. So I didn't want the clip to be that long, but guys, I just wanted to say that, you know, just if you don't, if you're not into something, you know. Just don't shit on it, you know. Uh, I'm, I I just want to spread love and positivity, and that's just what I'm here to do. So next year, I'm going to try to dedicate more time and put more effort into my content. Um, I'm a natural homebody. I'm going to get out more, and uh, I got some good things planned for, for my channel. I'm going to try to move a little bit beyond the fitness thing, Jay's fitness journey. I'm going to try to re rename my, my channel so it's more of like fitness, life, and everything in between type stuff. 
Um, I think I might start another channel specifically for my debt-free stuff. Um, I think I might do that just because I don't want to get everything jumbled up. But I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Sorry I rambled on so long. But let me know in the comments. Am I full of shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know. Please like, comment, subscribe. I love you. There's nothing that you can do about that. And until I see you again, peace.